Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to normalize and use the speech volume leveler in Adobe Audition to get speakers or voiceovers as close as possible in volume levels. Okay, here we are in the Adobe Audition multi-track and I've pieced together here three different voiceovers. Here's Al, watch the levels meter. Uplifting your spirits and motive. Definitely up at minus six dB. Let's listen to a little bit of Rachel here. Five, your power stereo. Consistently hitting minus nine dB. And then we got Michael at the end. New release. He's around minus 12 dB. So inconsistent volume there. It's not gonna be great for a final production. Well, we can go through and normalize each track. And this is how I do it. Uh, so with Al's track, I can go in and under effects, if you go into amplitude and compression, you can set up the normalize process here. You can say normalize to a percentage or a dB level. So uh, minus three dB, for instance, uh, and click apply. And it will normalize. It will find the highest peak in your audio, which is around here and here and make sure it hits minus three dB. So it increases the volume level consistently across the whole piece of audio. We can do the same for Rachel. And instead of using effects, amplitude and compression, normalize, I am going to go into favorites because it's also here as an easy to use favorite, normalize to minus three dB. And again, that peak just around there has been normalized to minus three. Now, if there's a big peak in your speech, uh, it's just going to raise the peak to minus three dB. Everything else will be left quiet. And that's where the speech volume leveler will come in in just a moment. And we'll do the same for Michael. Again, select everything there. Favorites, normalize to minus three dB. Oh, quite a bit of normalization there going on with Michael. Let's listen to our levels now. Let's scrub back to the start. <laughs> and play uplifting your spirits and motivating your minds magic fm 101.5 your power stereo new release okay nice so we can see minus 6 db we can see rachel maybe going down to minus 8 db uh, so there's still some slight inconsistencies this is where we'll use speech volume leveler now beware this can be quite a powerful tool, but I use it a lot in my productions. When I'm producing voiceovers and jingles in particular, I want everything to be the same level. The speech volume leveler does it for me perfectly. Uh, so we'll go into track one effects rack over here and we'll look under amplitude and compression for speech volume leveler. And we'll go to the default settings first of all, so you can see what it's doing. And most likely at the default settings, you'll get a pretty good uh, result. Let's play back now. Uplifting your spirits and motivating your minds. Magic FM 101.5, your power stereo. New release. And you can see there that it's pretty much hitting everything for all of the voiceovers at minus four dB. It's pretty good. So what are we doing here? Target volume level. Well, this is the average volume level we want for the whole clip. Push it right down. Uplifting your spirits and motivating your minds. Magic FM 101.5 your power stereo new release okay as you can see as i push it down it's not working so hard if i push it all the way up uplifting your spirits and motivating your minds magic fm 101.5 your power stereo new release it's working a lot harder leveling amount how much do you want to level out the audio so usually 100 percent is good but you can run into problems with that and we'll look at that in a moment and then the target dynamic range how many dynamic peaks and troughs do you want in the speech? Do you want lots of little peaks in your waveform and then like tailing off a little bit or do you want it really crushed? If you want it really crushed, 30 dB. And let's listen to Michael at the end in particular. Your power stereo. New release. Okay, so now we're getting pretty close to saying we can also boost the low signals. So increase the attack and release time for long signals um, if you want to. Uh, but this is not something that's usually necessary. It's also, if you flip out advanced here, uh, it's got a compressor and a noise gate. Now, these can come in handy. Uh, compressor is probably going to be overkill. Uh, but we can do this and we can set a really aggressive compressor down at minus 9 dB threshold. Let's try this out. Uplifting your spirits and motivating your minds. Magic FM 101. 1.5 your power stereo new release so as you can see it's actually boosted michael up a little bit and now we're hovering around that minus 6 db mark for all the voiceovers so this is brilliant you say i'm going to use this on everything because it just i can throw in a load of voice clips and make them all the same level right using the speech volume leveler well hang on just a moment uh let me bring in a podcast host uh and let's see 
what it does to her. So here she is speaking. Now, I wonder where she's going to hit on the levels meter. Before we get into the nuts and bolts of the business, how did you get... Oh, perfect. She's around minus 6 dB, just the same as our voiceover artist, right? That's brilliant. Let's just disable this and see where she was before. Before we get into the nuts and bolts of the business... Right the way down at minus 15. So this is working a dream, isn't it? Uh, well, let's listen to what happens when she stops speaking on her track. Commerce in the first place. Oh dear, uh, lots of breathing into the microphone, lots of background noise. When you're in a less than perfect environment, for example, if you're creating a podcast, the speech volume leveler is going to become a little aggressive. The first thing I would do is disable the compressor if I'm working on a podcast. Commerce in the first place. Still dragging things up quite a lot, but don't worry, there's more we can do. We can increase that target dynamic range so it's not so aggressive. Let's listen to the difference it makes as I boost this one just here. Commerce in the first place. Okay, so uh, really around 58 dB, there's a lot less noise, I think you'll agree. Let's go between the differences. Commerce in the first place. There's loads of noise. And then up to 58. Not so bad. Leveling them out, if we pull that down, it's obviously going to reduce the noise. Commerce in the first place. Quite significantly, but then it will also reduce the amount it's leveling your voices. So it's kind of counterintuitive. We can move this down maybe a smidge. Commerce in the first place. I'm not going to move it down too much, maybe 12%, 11, 12%. Uh, target volume level will put that to minus 12 dB. That's the default. It's a pretty good figure. Now, there's one final thing we can introduce under advanced when we're working with podcasts or audio that's recorded that has less than perfect background noise going on because obviously we don't want to push that up. That's very counterintuitive. And this is where our noise gate will come in. And the further we push this up, the more it's going to reduce that noise. Let's listen. Commerce in the first place. pretty much gone and pull it down and the noise is coming back. I can make this a little more um, audible for you if I move the target dynamic range up. Commerce in the first place. So as you can hear, the noise gate is making ever so slight of a, a change when we push this up to its maximum of 25 dB. Let's set that back to 58 Let's have a listen to our podcast host. Before we get into the nuts and bolts of the business, how did you... She's up at minus 4 dB. We've set the speech volume leveler so we don't get all that background noise. And let's go back to our original voiceovers, which... Uplifting your spirits and motivating your minds. Magic FM 101.5. Your power stereo. New release. And they're all peaking at minus 4 dB, the same. Before we get into the nuts and bolts of the... As our podcast host. So normalization to get audio at a consistent level before you bring it into multi-track and start working with a speech volume leveler that can really help you level everything else and get it sounding really great. It will all sound at a consistent volume in just these easy steps. Just be careful if you've got background noise to have a play with the noise gate and the target dynamic range. Those are probably the most important settings you can choose on a speech volume leveler.